First Chronicles. Chapter 8. Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahera the third, Noah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were Adar, and Gera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naaman, and Ahoah, and Gera, and Shephufan, and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manahath. And Naaman, and Ahiah, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Uzzah, and Ahihud. And Shehareim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away. Hushim and Beera were his wives. And he begat of Hodesh his wife, Jobab, and Zibia, and Misha, and Malcolm, and Jeers, and Shekiah, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abitab, and Elpael. The sons of Elpael, Eber, and Mishim, and Shamed, who built Ono, and Lod, with the towns thereof. Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Ajalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath. And Ahio, Sheshak, and Jeremoth, and Zebediah, and Arad, and Ada, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joha, the sons of Beriah, and Zebediah, and Meshulam, and Hezekiah, and Heber, Ishmari also, and Jezliah, and Jobab, the sons of Elpal, and Jachim, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elienai, and Zilthai, and Eliel, and Adea, and Berea, and Shimrath, the sons of Shimhai, and Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Antithijah, and Iphadia, and Penuel, the sons of Sheshach, and Shamsharai, and Shehariah, and Athaliah, and Jerosiah, and Eliah, and Zikri, the sons of Jerohan. These were heads of the fathers by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem, and at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maacah, and his firstborn son Abdon, and Zer, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zacah. And Mikloth begat Shimeah, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem, over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribbaal, and Meribbaal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Python, and Melik, and Tariah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoiada, and Jehoiada begat Alameth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Biniah. Rapha was his son, Eleazar his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrakum, Bokaru, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel, and the sons of Eshik, his brother, were Ulam, his firstborn, Jehush, the second, and Eliphalet, the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and sons' sons, and hundred and fifty. All these are of the sons of Benjamin. Chapter 9 so all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, Levites, and the Nethanims. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh, Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Pharez, the son of Judah. And of the Shilonites, Isaiah the firstborn and his sons. And of the sons of Zerah, Jeuel, and their brethren, 690. And of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasanuah, and Ibniah, the son of Jeroham, and Elah, the son of Azai, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephathiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah. And their brethren, according to their generations, 950 and 6. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers. And of the priests, Judea, and Jehoiarib, and Jachin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, 
the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraoth, the son of Ahitab, the ruler of the house of God. And Adaiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pasha, the son of Malchijah, and Maasai, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazara, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshilamith, the son of Imma, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and threescore, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azrakum, the son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Mirari, and Bakbaka, Hirish, and Galal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Juduthan, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Natophathites. And the porters were Shalom, and Akab, and Talman, and Ahiman, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Kori, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren, of the house of his father, the Korahites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle. And their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Meshelamiah, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely the house of the tabernacle, by wards. In four quarters were the porters, toward the east, west, north, and south. And their brethren, which were in their villages, were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office, and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tail. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels, and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Mattithiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, whose wife's name was Maacah, and his firstborn son Abdon, then Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ohio, and Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth begat Shimeon. And they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem, over against their brethren. And Noah begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul. And Saul begat Jonathan, and Malchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribbaal, and Meribbaal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Python, and Melik, and Teria, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jara, and Jara begat Alameth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Biniah, and Rephaiah his son, Eleazar his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrakam, Bokaru, and Ishmael, and Sheariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. Chapter 10. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons, and the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Malchishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, 
and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons, and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about, to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Jabesh, and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh, and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. Chapter 11 Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron. And David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Zeruiah, went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Millo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Jeshobim and Hakmonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam. And the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed, and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord, and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, 
He was chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabziel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Azahel, the brother of Johab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamath, the Hararite, Heliz, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikish, the Tekoite, Abiezer, the Antithite, Sibakai, the Hushathite, Eli, the Ahohite, Meharai, the Netophathite, Helid, the son of Baana, the Netophathite, Ithai, the son of Ribai of Gibeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah, the Pirithonite, Hurai of the brooks of Gaash, Abiel, the Arbathite, Asmaveth, the Beharamite, Eliaba, the Shealbanite, the sons of Hashim, the Geizanite, Jonathan, the son of Shega, the Hararite, Ahayam, the son of Sekar, the Hararite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hepha, the Macarathite, Ahijah, the Pelonite, Hezro, the Carmelite, Neari, the son of Ezbi, Joel, the brother of Nathan, Mibhar, the son of Hagarai, Zelik, the Ammonite, Neari, the Berathite, the armor bearer of Joab, the son of Zeruiah, Ira, the Ithrite, Gerib, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zebad, the son of Arlai, Adina, the son of Shiza, the Reubenite, the captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Maacah, and Joshaphat, the Mithnite, Aziah, the Ashtorothite, Shema, and Jehiel, the sons of Hotham, the Aroarite, Jediel, the son of Shimri, and Joha, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Maavite, and Jerobai and Joshaviah, the sons of Elnaim, and Ithmar the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jaziel the Mesobeite. Chapter 12 Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of the bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiezer, then Joash, the sons of Shemaiah the Gibeathite, and Jeziel, and Pelit, the sons of Asmaveth, and Barakah, and Jehu, the Antithite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jehaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad the Gadarathite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Beeliah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah the Harufite, Elkanah, and Josiah, and Azareel, and Joeza, and Jashobium the Korhites, and Joela, and Zebediah, the sons of Jeroham of Gedor. And of the Gadites there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness, men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbani the eleventh. These were of the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks. And they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered, 
and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jediael, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zilthai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, 7,100. Of the children of Levi, 4,600. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were 3,700. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, 20 and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, 3,000. For hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul, and of the children of Ephraim, 20,800 mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, 18,000, which were expressed by name to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, 50,000, which could keep rank. They were not of double heart. And of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear, 30 and 7,000. And of the Danites, expert in war, 20 and 8,000 and 600. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, 40,000. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh, them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel.